Williams, as this most likely means armored cars, but I suspect that with the M8 he'll be more than able to deal with them quite swiftly, in fact. And if further mines were to lay down, be laid down, that would certainly also impede their progress heavily. Looks like another attack is being mounted on the center. Panzergren is trying to cross the bitch out in the open, but forced to pull back, and then again charging in once more. Oh, foolish, foolish. And we see an anti-tank grenade going off alongside Panzergren. That might have been a bit wasteful, I think. Could have used something else, like perhaps group seal or another Panzergren team, but for some reason opted for anti-tank grenades. Did all right here, but might necessarily not do it always. Let's have a look at what... 75 is up to no company chosen at all. A bit odd, a bit odd. Certainly, some things could be used to help. M3 half track moving in, going to support the riflemen and increase their longevity on the battlefield. Certainly useful, certainly useful. In moving in the team and of manning the 50 cal machine gun mounted on it. Not bad, not bad. Pants going is using the cover and the riflemen also certainly in the disadvantage situation. Not fully covered by the Jeep. Pulling back and we see another anti-tank grenade going off on the half-track. Taking away half health but nerf thing to actually heavily support them. Um, scout car on the field and we see the M8 having moved in from this position. Perhaps a bit unfortunate. But now we see Rangers on the field charging in. Bazookas going off but the heavy redoubt here. The Panzer grena Grenadiers are possessing, protecting them from these rather heavy combined forces, although the bazookas are certainly doing a lot of damage to the river wall. I'm not entirely sure what the term for this might be, I me mean, not being a huge knowledge of canals and such. Further pants going to forwards. Half-track charging right in for no good reason. Although now being flanked by these uh, M8 armored car. Panzer Elite Armored Car Charging Pass, not able to do much, but will certainly be able to knock out the M3 half track, taking a shot from the Bazooka though. Looks like the M8 might be knocked out though. And we see Howitzer shells being called in. Main gun destroyed on the M8. Panzer Grenadiers really need to get out of there before it's too late. First shot hitting the water, causing a huge cascade of it to splash up. And the Panzer Grenadiers pulling back before further. Fire causes severe casualties, although things are certainly not looking good for the Panzer Elite. Tank Buster Infantry being produced since he is currently lacking everything, I think. Munitions and other vital supplies not looking good for the Panzer Elite player. I suspect he was perhaps a bit too over eager in some parts and then turned way too defensive. Really ought to have done things a bit more coordinated, and then in which case I think he could have done a lot more damage to Mayo Pie and his rather unfortunate tactic of blobbing his infantry together without really doing anything with it. Engine is once more trying to seize this munitions point. And we see a logistic upgrade for the scout car, although I think it's a bit too late for that as well. Early on, could have been brilliant, could really have done something with munitions or fuel, but now it's it's just a waste, really. Armor car charging up, going to hunt down these engineers. Barely surviving, I think, but might be cut down in the second volley from the armored car. German counterattack to the south, going to try and seize this territory. The buildings here would certainly be able to provide some cover and some positions from which to take cover from vehicles and fire off Panzerschreck rockets. M8 being repaired, and we see a 57mm anti tank gun up for the Americans. Mines being hit by the Germans, causing heavy casualties. Two tank busters already down one. Both actually, perhaps being wounded or dead, I'm not entirely sure though. And further mines being hit. This is simply a huge minefield. Quite nasty for the Panzer League commanders. And further Panzer Grundy is going down, suffering greatly. Now we see American troops alongside an armored car preparing for the counterattack. Going to catch the Panzer Grundy is off. God and a Panzer Grenadier team has been lost to a mine. This is absolutely devastating. And now the charge is coming in. Armored car trying to dash in and save the day, but this is not going right at all. Bazookas ramming into the armored cars. Greatly damaged. Barely any health left. Panzer Shrek equipped tank busters trying to hold back the overwhelming force, but they are just too few. They can just not hold back the tide. 
the surge of American infantry and it looks like the armored car will finish off the Panzer Elite and or was it some rifleman a single shot and a shower of flames but a second armored car has been rushed in what will happen shots from the armored car will the rangers win no they're just standing there apparently doing nothing a bit shameful I say Panzer Elite armored car reporting a beating a Brave beating indeed, and now the Greyhound is moving in for the kill, knocking out the armored car. And the 17th SS have lost the fight, they have lost the ghost, cannot keep fighting. They did not do too well here. So, what can we learn about this? Be more active with the infantry, don't just clump them together around points. That can really be the difference between victory and defeat against certain players. You really need to be aggressive and such. And for the Panzer Lead, what their will more infantry one infantry right from the beginning not going to do a lot of good and certainly not with one scout car either he was mixing together many things and not really getting any conducive force that could actually deliver a punch and he actually avoided fighting for much too long really uh, several mistakes on the both sides I'd say but it was in the end Mayo Pie was able to pull the greater punch and of course through good map harassment good aggressive Behavior. He was able to beat Mr. Lop 17 or 75 or whatever and win the day. So I hope you enjoyed this match. And if you did, why not subscribe? This is Imperial Dancing. Do remember to use karma. It can make a world of a difference.